So we're going to do a fun little kit for all the little ones that love dinosaurs. So this is great for little boys and little girls that love dinosaurs. So first in the little kit, it's just a really simple kit to make it easy for uh, grandmas and grandpas and moms and dads and uncles and aunts and etc. to um, do a little shrinkets project with their little ones that love dinosaurs. So we've got the little leaf shapes and we're going to make it easy and just have them use colored pencils. And that you want to show them how to feel the rough side versus the shiny side because they're going to color on the, the rough side, the sanded side. And they can do little dots, patterns, animal prints. They can make the leaves look like leaves. They can do anything they want. Just encourage them to have fun with this. So I'm doing the same. I'm just going to have fun doodling and doing fun patterns on the leaves. Okay, then let's see, we're going to feel and find the um, rough side. And they don't have to be stuck just using greens, but they may want it to look very, use the greens to make it look very tropical and Jurassic like. This little dinosaur charm is adorable. It's a little T Rex. I just think he's so cute. Let's put some green polka dots up in here. These are Prismacolor pencils I'm using, but anything works. Anything you have, it's just fine on this. And, you know, if you, you do the option, this is just a little free tutorial. I'm smearing this. Um, if you, like I said, do the option of <coughs> getting the little kit. The little leaves are all pre-tinted green. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, I've just got a couple more to do.
So, there we're done with our coloring of our leaves. And next, we're going to shrink them down. So, what we're going to use to shrink them is the little fluted spacer bead mold. And it doesn't matter if I put the shiny side or the matte side. And I'm going to heat about one inch or at the level of the tip of, tip of the metal pin. And it'll just shrivel and shrink down half its size and so watch it wiggle and shrivel down not moving anymore so I know it's done shrinking a little tip there can flute that up with my finger if I want and I'm going to count to five one thousand one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five and I get this fun little fluted bead One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five. Another cute one. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five. I always come in here, lift this up. Depending on the age of your little ones, they may be able to do this on their own. But um, if they're younger, this is the part that you may help them with because the heat gun is really hot. So they do need supervision. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five. And there's there's our little leaf beads that are so cute. So next we're ready to assemble. And the first thing we're gonna do is put everything on this ring. So this is where you're going to help your little ones. You're going to have two pair of chain nose pliers. Um, and you're just going to attach the leaves to the ring. Okay. 
You can layer the leaves up like this if you want so that you can drop them down in tiers or you can just ring them all around like keys on a keychain. What I'm going to do is on the other side of this, I'm going to flank that big. thought I was but maybe maybe I won't maybe I'll just stick this you don't have to they don't have to use all their leaves if they don't want to then we're going to use a jump ring to attach our dinosaur put him somewhere in the center Then you can decide where your little guys, your 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 kids can decide where they want the um, um the little uh, dinosaur to be. So the next thing we're going to do is take our leather cord, fold it over in half. Bring it up like so, so you have a loop, and run these, do a knot like so. And then, might help to cut your leather into nice chevrons. And this is an optional thing, this is included in your kit. If you want to. Add. I'm going to cut those chevrons a little deeper to show you why. Or points. Because then I can grab this and I can bring it down. I'm going to get a real fun um, jungly piece. Jurassic piece. Then we're going to um, come here, cross that, cross that, and tie to the length they want. I've got a lot of leather to three on here. But here's our fun little piece. So I hope you have fun if you decide to make this with your little guys.